What's going on everybody fishing the odds here? Today we're doing some plunking on the Columbia River for sockeye steelhead and chinook. Hopefully we can get some fish in the on the bank today, huh? Oh yeah. Got a subscriber out here, his name's TK. He's been getting them. Been getting the sockeye lately and been getting his buddies on the sockeye. And, and so we're out here just trying to make it happen. So uh, we're gonna be running some cold water strong stuff today. And it's gonna be a good day. Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Super excited. Yep. I think it's gonna be a really good day. Um, there's a lot of fish in the system. I uh, looked at the dam counts today. There was like about 1,800 swimming went over yesterday. Hell yeah. Um, 6,000 sockeye went over and 150 stood. Yep. So the numbers are going up day by day. Water temperatures is getting there. Flows are great. And yeah, we're going to get them. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Stay tuned. Running cold water strong setup here. I'll go over the setup in a little bit. I just want to show you how to put the coon shrimp on real quick. So I got a little size 10 spinning glows to those little five bead uh, configurations and a size one big river bait hook. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hook and go through the backbone, the top of the tail right there. And you're gonna come out the head. Okay, that's all you do. Then you take your egg loop. And you run your egg loop over the over the tail like that, okay? That's how you rig up your coon shrimp. So that one's ready. I definitely like these cold water strong uh, steelhead and sockeye leaders though because they're all pre-made. We'll go over that in a little bit. Same deal, different color spinning glow. See what the fish want, see what the fish like. We're running three uh, liters on our setup today. If you're bank fishing, I recommend two liters without a kayak. And what we're doing, what we're doing, we're taking the kayak and we're running our lines out to a desired uh, depth, and then we drop them and uh, fish on, right? We got a beautiful little sockeye earlier, probably 22 to 24 inches, and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about the setups, so I'm here today to talk about that. Talk about what we're running out here to catch these sockeye, and uh, we've had three chances so far today. Only two of them stuck, but these sockeye are kind of finicky that way. And we got out here in the afternoon, just doing a little afternoon bite and a little tutorial to help you guys get fishing. So first thing I want to talk about is the setup, right? Typically want a heavier rod, uh, just because you're fishing the Columbia and you might hook into a steelhead or a salmon. So if you run a 15 to 50, that's a, that's a generally good purpose rod for, for all around plunking. Uh, myself, today, I'm running a 10 to 20, which is a little bit smaller, which will handle those steelhead and those sockeye just a little bit better, make for a lot better fight. So that's the rod today. And uh, the setup here is by Cold Water Strong. He pre-makes his steelhead and sockeye leaders, his uh, his bumpers where you're gonna attach your leaders. So I wanna go over that really quick. So we have our main line here. We got that going to a barrel swivel. So this right here is what, what comes in your Cold Water Strong package. We got this barrel swivel we attach to our main line. And then we got, check this out. So right away at the beginning of our setup here, we have these little homemade three-way swivels. And what it is, is this little bar here with a, with a swivel. And that swivel can't go nowhere. And it's in line, it's clean, it's smooth, it's effective. All you gotta do is attach a little leader to that swivel. So about four feet down, we have our next one. Three and a half to four feet down, we have our next one. All that is, is the same thing. You got a crimp, a crimp, a little bar, and a swivel. It's in line, it's your three-way swivel, and then four feet down here, we have another one, okay? This is your steelhead setup. If you are if you have a kayak and you're running your lines out on the Columbia River for plunking, run the three-liter setup, okay? If you're bank fishing without a kayak and you're casting, I recommend you run the two-liter setup to avoid tangle. But here we go, that's that last one there. And then about eight inches down is where you're gonna attach your lead, okay? So if you want to extend this, just tie a little bit of leader on here. You want to make it 18 inches or something like that. Just tie a little bit of leader and tie on your lid. That's all you got to do for that setup. I'm going to show you the package real quick. So this is what your setup looks like for your cold water strong sockeye mainline inline setups. You have your steelhead and your sockeye. Okay. 
So as you see here, you got your two liter system. That's your sockeye setup. That's for if you're just gonna be casting. And then right here you got your steelhead setup, which can also be used for sockeye, which is your three liter setup. Now what this does is, first of all, I'm on the ball when I'm a fisherman, right? I wanna get going, I wanna get fishing as fast as I can. One of the best ways to do that is by purchasing the cold water strong leader systems because you're gonna save time tying. You don't have to tie that entire three, you gotta have three way swivels, you gotta have a whole bunch of line. This is a 100, 120 pound line. It's already made for you. You just buy it and tie it on your main line, tie on your leaders. That's all you gotta do. So you're saving a lot of time. You're not getting tangled because of how durable the line is. And less setup time, just plain and simple. So it's gonna last a long time. You don't have to keep retying if you get on a big Chinook and he's peeling drag and you fray up your leader on these rocks or anything like that. You're gonna save time tying, you're gonna save your leader, and it's gonna last all season. So I, I highly re recommend you guys check out Cold Water Strong Sockeye and Steelhead bank fishing setups. They're amazing, affordable, and they're gonna get you on the water and save a lot of time. So that's how we're doing it. That's how we're out here catching those Sockeye and Steelhead guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial, and uh, hopefully there's some more fish we can show you. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.